Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video. Today we're going to be opening some packs of Conspiracy Take the Crown. This has just been released this weekend. It's a draft only format. Um, what you do is you draft it in, as an eight person draft. And then once you've done the drafting, uh, you split into two groups of four. And then it's a four multiplayer sort of free for all. Uh, these cards have what are called conspiracy cards in them as well and they will affect um, certain aspects of the draft I believe. So let's open these up, see what sort of pulls we've got. I've got, got six of these to open today. So hopefully it'll give us some idea of the, of the set. Um, it may be enough packs statistically for us to pull a, a premium card of some description like a mythic or maybe a foil but we'll see. We've got totally random here. Let's um, so try and highlight some of the cards in addition to the rares as we, we go through these. Just, uh, just want everybody to have a good look at the artwork. Um, in case there's been any reprints in here. There's obviously some new cards as well. So starting with our commons. Fleeting Distraction. Goblin Racketeer. Blood Toll Harpy, God's Willing, Leovold's Operative. So I have a look at this. Uh, it says, Draft Leopold's Operative face up. As you draft a card, you may draft an additional card from that booster pack. If you do, turn Leopold's Operative face down, then pass the next booster pack without drafting a card from it. You may look at that booster pack. Vaporkin. Murder is in here. Ravenous Lucro is that Lucro Cotta. The Tenants of the Guard. Uh, this has something on it called Council's Dilemma. When the Lieutenants of the Guard enter the battlefield, starting with you, each player votes for strength or numbers. Put a plus one plus one counter on the tenants of the guard for each strength vote and put a one one white soldier creature token on the battlefield for each number vote. So you can see this is specifically designed for multiplayer. A crow and hoplite is in here. Moving now, we've moved on to our uncommons into the void. Overrun. And our rare is Psychosis Crawler, so five colourless for a star star. Artifact Creature Horror. Psychosis Crawler's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Whenever you draw a card, each opponent loses one life. We have a foil mnemonic wall in here. So, four and a blue for a zero four creature wall defender. When mnemonic wall enters the battlefield, you may return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. And here's our conspiracy card. A weight advantage conspiracy start the game with this conspiracy face up in the command zone each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power so just to clarify there because i may have, have miss miss said on the original um, on the start of this video you have the conspiracy cards which appear to affect the game and reside in in the command zone and you have these cards like leopold's operative which affect the draft. And then we have a soldier token. And what we have in our next pack. So we have a driver of the dead, omen speaker, ill tempered cyclops, lay of the land. Throne Warden, Lace with Moon Glove, Divination, Twin Bolt, another Lieutenants of the Guard, which we already saw in the other pack, another Ravenous Lucrocota, God, that's a mouthful, Lucrocota, Lucrocota, something like that. Hail of Arrows, so we're moving on to our uncommons. 
Irresistible Prey. Infest is in here. It gives all creatures minus two, minus two until end of turn. Recruiter of the Guard. So this is our rare. Two and a white for a one, one. Creature, human, soldier. When Recruiter of the Guard enters the battlefield, you may search a library for a creature card with toughness two or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. And our Conspiracy card is something called Hired Heist. We have Hidden Agenda on here. Start the game with this Conspiracy face down in the command zone and secretly name a card. You may turn this Conspiracy face up any time and reveal the chosen name. Whenever a creature you control with the chosen name deals combat damage to a player, you may pay blue. If you do, draw a card. And we have a Monarch token. So... There is a reference to the monarch in the in the game. We may see that reflected in the cards. It depends what we pull here. So this is our token for that particular aspect. At the beginning of your end step, draw a card. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, its controller becomes the monarch. So you can see on that one. So like I said, it'd be interesting to see how that monarch idea is, if at all, represented on other cards. But we will see. Blood Toll Harpy, Bonds of Quicksilver, Goblin Bl Bl Balloon Brigades, you can see there's a number of reprints in this set, Regicide, so I'll read this out because again it's affecting the draft, so single black, instant, reveal Regicide as you draft it, the player to your right chooses a colour, you choose another colour, then the player to your left chooses a third colour, destroy target creature that's one or more of the chosen of the colours chosen as you drafted cards named Regicide. Menagerie Liberator, it's got melee on it. And whenever this creature attacks, it gets plus one plus one until end of turn. For each opponent you attack with a creature this combat. Disenchant is in here. Lay of the Land. Garbage Fire. Another one that affects the draft, so reveal garbage fire as you draft it and note how many cards you've drafted this draft round, including garbage fire. Garbage fire deals damage to target creature equal to the highest number of noted for cards named garbage fire. Kite sails in here. Voyaging sat satyr. Farik's Mender is our first uncommon. Gang of Devils, Merfolk Looters in the set. Oh, so we've got Sphinx of Magosi in here. So Sphinx of Magosi is our rare. Three and three blue for six six creature Sphinx. Flying, two and a blue, draw a card, then put a plus one plus one counter on Sphinx of Magosi. Adriana's Valor is our conspiracy card, so we'll have a look at this. Hidden, another hidden agenda, so start the game with this conspiracy face down in the command zone and secretly name a card. You may turn this conspiracy face up any time and reveal the chosen name. Whenever a creature you control with the chosen name attacks, you may pay single white. If you do, that creature gains indestructible until end of turn. And we have a dragon token. in the set. So Jeering Homunculus is our first common in this pack. Ember Beast, Child of Night, Negate, Raise the Alarm, Copperhorn Scout, Gleam of Resistance, Voyaging Satyr, Palace Sentinels, so we've got another garbage file, which I went through a moment ago. Farbog Bone Flinger. Spectral Grasp. Sulfurous Blast. So we're moving on to our uncommons. Excellent. So we have a legendary creature. We have Leovold Emissary of Trest. A black 
green blue 3 3 legendary creature elf advisor. So it's a mythic. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. Whenever you or a, perm a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, you may draw a card. Cool. And we have a conspiracy card, not surprisingly, because there's one in every pack. Natural U Unity, another hidden agenda. So these ones you start with the game with them face down. And then you can turn them up at any time. Um, so this, this has this secret name. Um, creatures you control with the chosen name have at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay green. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this creature and a zombie token. Goblin Tunnel, Stormkirk Patrol, Mnemonic Wall, so this is a regular one, remember we pulled a foil earlier, Fiery Fall, Ghostly Possession, Entourage of Trest, Doom Traveller, Prey Upon, Opaline Unicorns in the set, so that's Mana Fixing, Sinuous Vermin, Pyretic Hunter, so another one that affects the draft, uh, Fauna Red, zero, 0, Creature Elemental Cat, reveal Pyretic Hunter as you draft it, and note how many cards you've drafted this draft round, including Pyretic Hunter, it has Menace in it, so it can't be blocked except by two more creatures, and also Pyretic Hunter enters the battlefield with X, plus one, plus one counters on it, where X is the highest number you noted, for guards, cards named Pyretic Hunter. Illusion of Choice, so we're moving on to our uncommons here. Beast Within, and our rare is Sangromancer. Two and two black, three three creature vampire shaman with flying. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you may gain three life. When an opponent discards a card, you may gain three life. Hymn of the Wild, so it's just really nice artwork on this one. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty cool. Try and straighten it up. It appears these also have a rarity on there, and I think there must be a, a mythic conspiracy. So again, start the game with this in the, the command zone, although this one is face up. Uh, the first creature spell you cast each turn costs one colourless less to cast. You can't cast instant or sorcery spells. Okay. And another monarch token. And our last pack in this group of six. So we've been pretty good so far. We've already pulled uh, one, one mythic card uh, and a and a mythic conspiracy card. I didn't look actually to see whether what the rarities of the other conspiracy cards were. Ember Beast, Child of Night, Negate, Kiln, Kiln Fiend is in here, Borderland Explorer. Okay, so this is another one that's going to affect the draft as we can see by the you know, sort of giveaway by that, that sort of stamp there. It looks like um like a wax seal. So it's Custody Peacekeeper, two and a white for a two three. Clericia Human Cleric. Reveal Custody Peacekeeper as you draft it. And note how many cards you've drafted this draft around hang on. You've drafted this draft round, including Custody Peacekeeper. One uh, single white and tap. Tap target creature with power less than or equal to the highest number you noted for cards named Custody Peacekeeper. I think definitely for um, for Conspiracy Take the Crown, you do need a pad to remember all these things. Deputised Protester. Wings of the Guard, another one with uh, melee on it. So whenever this creature attacks, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each opponent you attacked with a creature this combat. 
and also the previous card had it on as well. Bronze Sable is in here, so that's just a two colours this for 2 1. And we're moving on to our uncommons Explosive Vegetation, Smuggler's Captain, so another thing that affects the draft. Three and a black, two two creature human pirate, draft smuggler, draft smuggler captain face up. As you draft a card, you may reveal it. Note its name, then turn smuggler captain face down. When smuggler captain enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a card with a name you noted for cards named smuggler captain, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. The way I can see it is that uh, conspiracy drafts are obviously going to take a lot longer than regular drafts. Juniper Order Ranger. Okay, so our rare is the rather cool looking Regal Beer Moth. Four and two green for a 5-5 five, five creature lizard with trample. When Regal Beer Moth, Beer Moth enters the battlefield you become the monarch. Oh, so here we go, this is one that references this idea of becoming the monarch, which is where the tokens fit in. Whenever you tap a land for mana while you're the monarch, add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. There's also a full plummet in here, so plummet, uh, reprint, it's uh, one and a green, instant, just destroy target creature with flying. And our conspiracy is hired heist. Looks like that's a common uh, hidden agenda, so again, we've seen this before. And whenever a creature you control with the chosen name does combat damage to a player, you may pay blue if you do draw a card. I think we've seen this particular conspiracy card already. And there's a lizard. I'm actually pretty pleased with those pools. We got, you know, if you're trying to get, I suppose, cards that are represented of what conspiracy is all about, this has given us a good indicator with the six pack. So we've, we've got a card with Monarch on it. We've obviously, we're getting these um, ones that affect the draft in, in each pack. We're getting the conspiracy cards in each pack. Uh, and we got our, our rather nice, um, that was the second pull. Let me have a look. I'm trying to find our legendary, legendary creature that we had. Maybe that was the third one. Oh, there you go. So Leovold Emissary of Trest. Black, green, blue, legendary creature, elf advisor. So there we have it. Conspiracy. Take the crown. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.